why do you, why do you, uh, people at the gym call you Hannibal? <laughs> um, <laughs> because sometimes when I compete, girls do tend to cry <laughs> and bleed. <laughs> But yes, <laughs> I never mean to do it. <laughs> really, like, it's of my dad. Um, so he obviously, I'm sure my brother told you, but he started us doing Brazilian Jiu Jitsu when we were about five years old. And probably my earliest memory is going up to our gym. At the time, it wasn't anything fancy. It was actually our schoolroom, <laughs> and we had mats as well that was there and my dad would make us go every morning, we'd go upstairs, we'd have our little DVD player and we'd have our Gracie DVDs and there'd be lots of crying because <laughs> we didn't want to do it and we'd have to go sit up there and watch these Gracie DVDs and then go practice <laughs> and yeah, it wasn't a fun time <laughs> but um, it really like, actually like now years later, the fundamentals and everything that we learned with my dad, like, it helped so much. Like, yeah, but yeah, that's probably my only yes, memory. <laughs>in terms of competing or anything like that he always just wanted us to do it for self-defense purposes like if we ever needed it it was in our back pocket you know or if we wanted to open up a school you know we had a tool like to do that so he never really forced us to compete but at the same time we weren't allowed to quit you know so we had it was like compulsory but it, not in the sense of competing um, so yeah he was always just kind of pushed into our brains that we need to have push through and follow things through. Um, but yeah, it wasn't really like hectic in that way, yeah. Was, was there a time when you were like, fuck this jujitsu stuff? Fuck. Yes. <laughs> so I think I was about, mm, I, I don't lie, but maybe like 10, 11. And I started getting into dancing and I started modern dance and ballet. And I was like, oh my word, like this is so cool. Um, like dad, I want to do this. I don't want to do jujitsu anymore. Like I don't like it. And like, much to my dad's dismay, he was heartbroken because <laughs> he was like, oh my word. Like, yeah, he loved that I did it. But with much convincing from me and my mom, he let me discontinue with it. And for about 13, 14 years, I did ballet, modern and rhythmic gymnastics competitively. And I loved it. Um, and then in end of 2020, I kind of, I came to um, Quan Vessels to just try a class again because Luke had just moved over that year and I was like, okay, like, let me like try. I was like, mm, maybe I want to get back into it. And through like the years, I kind of did it at our gym sometimes but I was never consistent with it. So I would maybe do it for two weeks and then I'd stop again and do it for two weeks and stop. So I came at the end of 2020, I did a class, I absolutely loved it. Um, but then obviously I was still dancing and stuff. So I was like, I don't have time. And then... Like February of 2021, I had a really bad um, feet in, well, foot injury um, and that kind of caused me to like stop all my dancing, which was like really sad for me. But then I was like, oh my word, I've got all this free time. Um, like, you know, I need to do something. Luke's like, no, just come like back to Jiu Jitsu and try it again and see if you like it. And then I came back and I absolutely like loved it. And you can imagine how happy my dad was. <laughs> um, yeah, and then I never really looked back, so. <laughs> I mean, I can't really pinpoint like one thing, 
But I have, I think also the dancing and competing and stuff, I do like to compete, even though I get really bad anxiety <laughs> before. I do like the adrenaline of it. Um, and I think something like also with like, it's just a goal to walk, work towards, you know? Um, and I always like, like being active and stuff. So I was like, I have to do something that's like competitive. And obviously I grew up around the sport, so I, I kind of knew the environment and I liked the whole vibe of it even when I wasn't doing it when I would like go watch Luke competing I would I would love the vibe you know and it's also like a second family so I don't know it's just really nice yeah darling you're such a man you sure you forgive me firstly because that like helps a lot and also not think like oh my word like worry about what everyone else thinks which is really hard for me because I'm a people pleaser so I try not to focus on everyone around me and what they're going to think if I lose or you know if something like that happens or I don't perform the way I want to so I try not focus too much on that um, because and I try to say to myself as long as I know that I've worked as hard as I can for this competition and I put all the hours in and I've really done as much as I can then the outcome you know whether it be winning or losing like I've done everything that I can do you know and yeah so, <laughs> I do <laughs> so even though it's very like you know from my family like it's unintentional pressure there still is a lot of pressure um, I have my brother always you know critiquing my <laughs> fights and telling me that it was like a shit performance <laughs> or whatever but all with love um, so there is that added pressure but obviously they're not they really actually don't care if I win or lose like they just obviously care that I've put in the work and that I'm mentally like pushing um, when I'm competing um, but they're very supportive and yeah yeah I mean yeah there's definitely like a lot more nerves I would say than just like a normal competition because I definitely don't think um, that Lalani is like a pushover or anything so I'm going in with the mindset that she's training really really hard and that you know she's going to be a very tough fight so I'm not underestimating her at all um, but yeah, so I would definitely say there's added nerves. As soon as the poster went out, I was like, oh my goodness, it's real. <laughs> hmm. I would say like also like competitions over there, it's like every weekend there's a competition. So everyone is competing all the time, every weekend, you know. So they're very like calm and I don't like, I'm, obviously everyone gets nervous and stuff. But I think that there's so much more competition that everyone's just competing all the time and it's just normal, you know, where whenever I compete, it's like, you know, once every like blue moon. So it's like, like you don't know how to deal with the pressure, I guess. Um, so it was actually very helpful. Like when I went into PANS, I felt I had done the ADCC Open and I had done uh, another um, 10th Planet competition. And at, at PANS, I just felt so much more relaxed like than I've ever felt ever and it was a really nice feeling so hopefully I'll get to compete a lot more yeah I don't know maybe you know obviously my my crocs when I do my walkout they're definitely going to be seeing my signature crocs <laughs> um, but hopefully some some good wrestling I've been working on wrestling and also maybe some leg my, some leg entries I've been working on that so <laughs> we'll see Yes, without giving it all away. Basically everything. <laughs>
such a laugh. Are you sure you forgive me? 